Hello and welcome to this quick tip in Blackboard. Today the question comes from Alexa and she was wondering if you can go into the Grade Center, download all of your assignment files into a zip, be able to open those up, do some editing in Word, and then be able to post them back within Blackboard. So I just wanted to show you that is something you can do. Typically uh, you'll put in an assignment, you'll see that I have an assignment here called Paper 2. So I used the uh, assessments tool and I added an assignment. And you'll note that that puts a column in the Grade Center automatically for that particular assignment. Students will go in, turn in their papers, and they'll be attached to the assignment. Now you could always go to the Needs Grading that you'll see right here. Um, they'll be able to see all the assignments and you can just grade them in line right there in Blackboard. But sometimes you want to take them offline, potentially put them into a Word document, do some of the track changes, save them, and add them back into Blackboard. So the way that you can do that is you'll go all the way to your full Grade Center. And once you're in the full Grade Center, you'll go to the column that has the paper. So here's paper two. Uh, I had a few students turn in the assignment, so I want to download them all. I go to that column header. I'll hit the drop down arrow. And then I want to go to assignment file download. I'll click on that button. And it's going to take a second and it's going to wrap those up. You're going to figure out which assignments you actually want to take so you can pick and choose. I'm going to select all, so all current assignments that have been turned in. And then I'll hit submit. Once you do that, it's going to zip up that file, and you can click on this uh, Download Assignments Now. Now you have a saved file of all those assignments. I'll go ahead and click OK. Once I get that, I'll be able to save that. I'll go ahead and throw that on my desktop right there. And uh, let's take a look at what I have on my desktop. So there's my gradebook file. I'll go ahead and unzip that by double clicking it and right over here is all my papers. So you're going to notice that the, the papers are going to have a text to show what user and the information about that particular assignment. So for example this user 2 if I open it up into the plain text editor it just gives information about the assignment. Um, no submission fields, no real comments, what files were attached, what student turned it in at what time. Alright so then you can go into the paper, go and make your adjustments in Word. So I'll go into this user 2's attempt, and we can take a look at what they've turned in. So they put some information in there, use your track changes, do what you need, save the file back down. Then you'll get back into your course, you'll go down into your full grade center once again, and you're going to go back to that same column that you downloaded the original assignments from. Uh, this time you can go to each individual user, click on their... Uh, little drop down arrow in the particular cell for that user and you'll go to their attempt. Once you go to that attempt it's going to allow you to do some uh, uploading of your feedback. So once this loads up you will see the paper off to the left here but you'll notice that you have the ability to uh, put in some feedback. So you can put the feedback right into the, the text editor there or you can go down and attach a file using the little uh, attachment area here. Browse your computer. Go back to the original file that you'd like to download. And see here. Oh, I got a bunch of stuff in there. So you find the particular one you have set up. You click on it. You hit open. I'm just going to grab a random file here. And you'll be able to attach it right back to that submission. You'll be able to enter in the grade for that particular submission and hit submit. And now you've finished grading that assignment. Hope this helps. Have a good day.